Welcome to another exciting episode of AI and Machine Learning. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of object detection using YOLO version 8. One of the most powerful and efficient object detection algorithms in the field of computer vision. Whether you are a beginner, looking to get started, or an experienced, this video has something for everyone. So, let's start our journey. First, we need a dataset from which we can train our model. In present time there is lots of free website which can provide you a free datasets. Some website like Kaggle, Google Dataset Search, Open Image Dataset version 7 and many more. But for this video I am going to use Roboflow website. Just type Roboflow to your browser. Click on Universe. In the Roboflow website we can find different categories of datasets available. Like we are going to make a project on identification of medical plants. So, we search medical plants. Click to search the dataset. Here we have many datasets related to medical plants. Scroll down to see more datasets. Choose the datasets which suits your project and have highest number of images with numbers of classes. Like I choose this one. I open this project. On the left hand side we have different options. One of them is images. Click on images to see the images of this dataset. There is very important thing to know. In the all classes tab, we have all the categories of images present in this dataset. Always look at the classes before download the datasets. Here we have 5 categories of medical plants. Always select the datasets which have highest number of classes or categories. Now go to datasets. Here we have all the information related to datasets. This shows that, there's datasets available in these formats. And we know we are going to use YOLO version 8. So I click on this to download the datasets. Choose download zip to computer. So that file will download to our system. Click on continue. Save the file. Now our file is downloaded successfully. And here is our datasets file. Extract the zip file. And here is our extracted folder name medical plants. Open the folder. We have different folders and files inside our folder. In these three folder name. Test, train and valid. We have more two folder. Images and labels. Like I open my train folder. If we click on images folder, we can see all the images which we will gonna use to train our model. And inside our label folder we have a txt file. If I open the txt file on my editor it will show me an array. The first one signifies the image number or you may say class of the image. Like we have 5 classes in our datasets. And it shows the first class. Every image in our datasets have its own txt file. These 4 numbers signifies the dimension, height and width of the box. As you can see there is an image with a bounding box. Every image in our datasets have bounding box. And a txt file contains the coordinates of the bounding box of every image. Don't get deep into it. Move towards our next file which is data.yaml. If we open this file in our editor, we can see it consists of all the classes with their name inside an array. This file is also we are going to use during our image localization. After this you have to upload this medical plants dataset folder to your Google Drive. Like I have already uploaded my file to my Google Drive. All the files and folders you found inside your medical plant folder. After uploading the folder open the Google Notebook. Just search Google Colab in your browser and click on New Notebook. If you are not familiar with Google Colab, it is same as the Jupyter Notebook and provides free access to computing resources, including GPU and TPU. First, click on this icon and go to Change Runtime Type. Ensure that your T4 GPU is ticked and save the setting. Now, our notebook is connected. Now we have to connect our Google Drive to our notebook. For this, click on this folder icon. In the above you can see the folder with Google Drive logo. Click on this. Click on connect to Google Drive. Here you can see our Google Drive is connected successfully. This is our medical plants dataset folder. Now, go to our cell and write pip install ultralytics-q. Click to run this cell. It will install some libraries or directories from ultralytics. Let me show you something about ultralytics. We go to ultralytics github page. The YOLO is owned by this group. In the documentation section there is lots of information given about this model. 
Now, we are going to copy this one line and paste it to our cell. And run the cell. Now it's done. In the GitHub page, we have model section. Here we have different models of YOLO version 8. You can choose any model according to size, speed and parameters. For this video, I am going to use YOLO version 8M model. Go back to your Google call app and write, model equals to YOLO, then your model name, with .pt. Run the cell. Now it's done. In the next cell write, touch data.yaml. It will create a file with the name data.yaml. Here you can see this file is created. Double click to open the file. Here we have to give the location of our data sets with classes. For this go back to our medical plants folder. Here you can see we have data.yaml file, which I have already told. Open the file. Copy that amount of portion. From train to classes. After copy, paste it your data.yaml file. In the train, test and valid. We have to just give the path of our dataset. Just open the medical plants folder which we have uploaded to our Google Drive. Click on this three dots and copy the path. Paste it to our file. Now come to valid. Copy the path of the valid folder and paste it our file. Repeat the same procedure for test. After doing all this stuff press Ctrl plus S to save the file. This Google Colab file is also saved inside your Google Drive. After saving the file, in the new cell write, model.traindata equals to. Then we have to give the path of our saved data.yaml file. Go to folders. Copy the path and paste it in cell. Comma then write epochs. Epochs is defined as the whole dataset passes through an algorithm or model. If epochs is 2, means whole dataset is passes through a logarithm two times. Epochs is directly proportioned to accuracy of the model. Your epochs should be at S20. But I'm going with two epochs to make this video little bit shorter. Obviously higher the epochs higher the time it will take for training. After this run the cell. Now, our model training has started and it will take some time. 12 seconds later. Our model training has finished. Go to folders and here you can see a new folder is created with name, runs. Click on runs. Go to detect. Go to train. Inside the weights folder, our model is saved. Best.pt is our model name. You can download the model from here. Until our model is downloading let me test the model. For testing the model we need to create a variable name, infer. Write, infer equals to YOLO, then copy the path of our model paste it here. Run the cell. After this, write, infer.predict. Then we have to give the path of our test images, which is inside our medical plants folder. So, open the folder name test and copy the path of images folder. Paste it to cell. Comma. Then save equals true. Save text equals true. Afterwards run the cell. Now, it will start predicting the test images. After it is done. To see the how our model is performed with test images go to runs folder. Go to detect folder. Here you can see new folder is created with the name predict. Open the predict folder. Below you can see the all the images which is predicted by our model. Click on any image to see the result. Here you can see our model is successfully predicted the image. And our model is also downloaded. Here is our model. To run this model on localhost or in browser. We need to create a flask web application. For this I created a medical plants folder which contains the many files and folders. Like in app1.py file. I have a basic python flask program to host our model. Inside the engine folder we have our model. The image of plant, which user upload to the model is comes under the static folder. And inside our template folder we have our basic html code. Let me close this. Now, let me show you the model in browser. For this I go to terminal. I have created a separate environment for this. So first I activate my environment. Now, I change my directory to desktop then medical plants. Now, we are inside our medical plants folder. To run the program I write the python then your file name. In my case this is app1.py. Here is our link for localhost. Open the link to your browser. Like I copy the link and paste it to my browser. And our web app interface look like this. To test the model again. I download an image of oleander plant to check the accuracy of our model. I selected my image and then submit it. Now, here is our result. 
Our model is successfully determined the plant as you can see. It is very basic but important that model will only detect those plants which is present in your data sets. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button to show your support. And if you're hungry for more cutting edge AI content, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode.